What's up everyone, this is Ollie Talk is Tech, and today I'm going to be showing you this awesome glitch that you can do on your iOS 12 device, that way you can hide and kind of lock apps on your iPhone without the use of screen time, guided access, or any third party apps. Let's get started. <music> Alright, so I'm going to be showing you this really cool trick, it's using a glitch in iOS 12, and I think I've actually made a video on this before, but I've never really knew how to exactly implement this glitch and make it useful. So I'm going to be turning a glitch that I thought was completely useless into a glitch that now is capable of locking your home screen to only one page of apps, so that way you can have any other page of apps locked so that way other people cannot access them. So this can be seen as locking applications or hiding them, and the way you view them is by using a simple gesture that pretty much no one knows about. So you can see that I'm going to start trying to swipe on the home screen and I'm not going to be able to get to the next page of apps. Now at the moment I can, but after the glitch I cannot. So you can see that apps pretty much activate, but they do not swipe over to the next page until I do this simple trick. Now. I want you to pause for a second. Think of any way that you can swipe to the next page on the home screen. I'll give you two seconds. You probably don't know, and if you do know, you're probably a very advanced iOS user. But if you tap on the dots at the bottom, that actually lets you swipe on the next page of apps. So the only way to quit this is to go to the widget panel and then click the home button and then your phone is back to normal. The average iOS user is not going to be able to know about that trick and I went around asking my friends and family members about this and they had no idea that pressing the buttons even worked. So what you're going to want to do is take all your normal apps that you use every day and put it on the first page of your home screen and then you're going to want to take all the hidden apps that you don't want people to see and put it on the next page on your home screen. Then go to Siri and search and you're going to want to turn off all the applications that you want to hide. So for example if you want to hide Safari so that way people cannot access it unless they have your permission, go ahead and turn off all of these. This will make it so that way you cannot search it using Spotlight Search because what's the point of hiding on the home screen if you can search it through Spotlight Search? So now that whenever you search Safari, it doesn't come up inside of Spotlight Search. So what we're going to be doing now is just assume that this is maybe Snapchat or some photo app, who knows, but we're going to be exiting whatever you have in this field and then go ahead and tap on the dictate button and the edit button at the same time until you get this weird animation. You want to make sure the status bar turns black for like a second and then boom, your home screen is locked. Now I actually made a video on this a while back but I didn't know the use for it until now. So it's pretty cool. So you can see that I'm swiping and I'm not able to get anywhere. So just an average user who picks up your phone will not be capable of opening up any other apps that you have on this device, but only you will be able to know that just by tapping on that next dot, you can get to the next page. So I guess you consider this a gesture password or maybe just hiding apps. Who knows, but the average iOS user is not going to be able to access this, and I'm just going based off my testing that everyone I've asked these questions to, if they can swipe on the home screen without actually swiping to get to the next page, they all had no idea how to do it until I showed them, so I'm assuming that by tapping on the buttons, it's not a very common feature that people know about. So we kind of do have to rely on people being dumb in order, or not dumb, but just uneducated in this, in order for people not to access these apps. But I will say it's pretty cool and no one's really going to guess this. So if you do have any apps you want to hide on your iOS device, make sure to do this trick on iOS 12. It's currently the only working method. So thank you so much for watching and as always, peace.